All right, I'm gonna do some tutorials on color grading analog footage, but I'm gonna specifically just do two node grades. So probably the most effective part you can do. We can get into a lot of in-depth stuff with noise reduction and stretching out your footage and doing motion blur and deflicker and removing all the dirt and all that other stuff. But if you just mess with exposure and your color on two different nodes, you're gonna do really well. All right, so let's look at what we've got. I got a couple clips from other people. So I got this one here from Spaceman FPV, chasing an RC car, which is pretty cool. Threw a clip uh, from myself in here. This is DJI goggles. Spaceman's clip um, was a beta FPV goggle, I think. And then we've got one from Tuxedo here. That's the Eashin goggles, uh, EV200s. And then another one from Tuxedo FPV, that is the Skyzone goggles. And they'll have different characteristics in recording, different cameras and different modules, but then we can just see what it looks like across all of them. Um, all right, so I'm in the color tab of DaVinci. Um, if you need more just DaVinci general use stuff, check out the link in the video description. I'll put a link to the tutorial I made. But let's, let's start here with uh, Spaceman quick preview through the clip just to see what we think we might need. I'm gonna grab that shot, looks cool. Option S or Alt S is add a new note. So I'm gonna do that. You can also right click in the space and add a corrector note. I'm gonna do this. You can right click and say node label. I've mapped that to a quick key um, to make it faster, but we're gonna call this exposure. And we'll do this is the first node to do so exposure you got to keep an eye on your waveforms the top of the waveform is clipping the white stuff the brightest stuff bottom of the waveform is clipping the darkest stuff the shadows so you call us shadows the top is called highlights um, we've got a bunch of other stuff here too but i really like the waveforms and sometimes you get defaulted you get stuck on keyframes but so you just click a little waveform icon so you can see what you're doing. So right off the bat, there's a lot of stuff that's that's clipped here, but frequently these cameras will encode more data than, than that. So if I just bring my gain knob down here, you can see I start to I bring a lot of data back. There's actually clouds in the sky there. So that's that's great. Good thing we got some of that back. So we'll pull that down. And let's uh, see what we can do contrast wise. I think I want the mid range of the video to be right above there. Um, Command D or Control D on the windows is disable. So you can disable your node. Look at it when you click this little icon here to turn it on and off. Um, all right, so I brought the midpoint down to about where I want. I brought the highlights down. I'm gonna bring the shadows up here. So this these wheels, you've got the shadows, the dark stuff, gamma is your mid, um, gain is your highlight, so the really bright stuff, and then offset is the entire image altogether. And this is called the primary wheels. There's also log wheels, which are a little bit different. So I'm gonna push up my shadows a bit. No, I don't like that. And click here in the curves, and you got these like uh, soft, clipping features, so we're gonna turn our high soft way up. And you can see in the waveform that it's getting, it's like squishing everything down in the highs. And I wanna do that to kind of give us some fake dynamic range. Let's see what we can do here in the shadows. Yeah, that works a little bit. You can adjust the low control is where the pivot point is. I think I like maybe there, let's see better or worse or a lot darker so let's since we squish the highlights we can maybe bring those back up bring those back up a little bit okay that's looking pretty good we got added a lot of extra contrast we recovered some highlights let's do node number two we'll call this one color and i'm going to just grab these and just I'm trying to do maybe not so much fixed color, but I'm just trying to add some interest and some separation between color. Like I think this one should be really warm. 
and kind of red orange because of the sand. So we'll push it really far in the mid, and then I'm going to compensate for that with the shadows. Pull it towards blue green. Let's see what that looks like. I like that a lot. It actually looks, without adding saturation, we added a lot of color. Makes everything look a little bit warmer. It's nice. So with just, I'll turn off all color. With just the two, two nodes there and some really simple fixes, made a pretty big improvement to it. Let's do a little bonus note here. The, the grass is pretty gross looking. So I'm gonna just turn mid detail down a bit. And that's gonna take the edge off of, edge off of that. You can't see it, probably can't see it here on YouTube, but if you see, look in the waveform, you can see the, especially here, all those little harsh lines are reduced. All right, let's jump to the next clip. Same thing. So I'll add a node, call it exposure. I'm going to see what I can do with the highlights first. Let's maybe soft click the highlights, push them back up, add a little, turn gamma down, add a little contrast. just as a more specific control if you look at the waveform. Okay, so that adds some contrast, brings a little highlight back. You see, especially around Topo's legs, you see detail. The ceiling too, there's a lot more detail back in the ceiling. Let's check more. I'm sure it gets, yeah, it gets really right here too. And it's all back. Okay, so exposure's good. Let's move on to Let's go back to that first. Oh, this is what I always do. Whenever I switch the log, I forget I'm there. And I mess with it, wondering why I don't see it. I'm gonna go back to primaries. All right, it's turned. Let's make it really warm again. But maybe more yellow than Clean up the white fur. how it looks before, honestly. Oh, there we go. I like that better now. I think I just need more. Yeah, there we go. Oops. Call that one color. All right, so we got two, two nodes there. Made a big difference. Let's, uh, I'm hitting Option D to disable all the nodes. The floor. Let's see, what happens? Let's, let's crank saturation up. I like the saturation a little bit higher, but it's in some weird places, it's too much. So I'm gonna go here to the curves again. Do luminance versus saturation. Click on these two, and this desaturates the shadows and desaturates the highlights. So now we have more saturation, but it's not affecting the really bright stuff. And then the floor is too much too. So let's do hue versus saturation. And pick some of these colors. I'm assuming this is the floor, yeah. And I'm gonna pull that down a bit. Couple quick fixes there. Looks great. Let's do this clip. This should be a good one. All right, again, we'll do an exposure. Let's soften the highs. I don't see any difference with the lows, so we'll leave those alone.
So this one needs the shadows down and then we gotta take the log and maybe bring those back up so we don't clip them. Probably could do that with a low soft too. Okay, that makes a big difference there. What about the dark part of the shot? Um, no, I think that's, that's still better. Takes it very, it's a very green shot. Well, now it's a little bit more balanced, a little more interesting. We got some of the red out of the tree, a little warmth in the grass. It's a big difference there. Um, but this one's also like weirdly saturated in the green. This stuff is like super unnatural. So we'll go with the curves again and we'll grab, uh, let's do hue versus luminance. So this is taking. I'm gonna pick the hue I want and I'm gonna change the brightness of that color so you can see the grass here. Change the brightness. So if I bring that down, it's gonna give us a little bit more natural of effect. Actually, let's do this on another note just so we can see the difference. As you can see that brings that down. That's gonna make a big difference here too takes away a lot of the little splotches. Um, <clears throat> and then we can also take a bit of the saturation of the green out too. Well, that doesn't do as much. Let's do hue versus hue. And we'll make that green a little bit more yellow and more. There we go. It makes a big difference. All right, so let's see how everything is on this one. Option D, before and after. Looks great. Good improvement. All right, last one. The high soft control is awesome. It's one of the best, one of my favorites. It's super easy. Let's bring our shadows down. Now maybe the yeah. Now we see something there. So I'm gonna bring the softness of the shadows up, and then I'm gonna take the log shadows and bring those down. So just the darkest parts will get pushed lower. Primaries this time. That's good. And let's do some color. Let's do the temp and tint instead of the wheels, just so you have a different thing. I'm gonna just warm them up a bit. And let's go red instead of green. See that. Takes it from all green to warmer, probably too far, and the sky's all orange, so let's go to that same luminance versus saturation. I'm gonna take saturation out of the sky, brightest parts, and scoot it down more until I really start to see that. Not too bad. Might as well take some out of the shadows. It's looking pretty good. Let's just for fun add some sharpening. 
but I don't want to sharpen the whole image. I just want to sharpen the middle. So I'm going to add this window. Nice and soft. So you don't see any transition. Shift H will let you see your mask. So what's gray is not being affected and what's you can see is being affected by the node. And go here to sharpening. Push this down to sharpen, push up as blur. Do that, that's too much, but if I turn up the softness of the sharpening, oops, and the level, it's gonna just do less. That's probably too much still. Let's back it off. Cool. Everything. Um, all right, one final little bonus trick is if I go here to the this little button, this is the timeline. Oh, and I already got um, a lot on here. Let's delete it so you can see it. So now I'm affecting the nodes here in the timeline editor are going to affect all clips on the timeline. So this will affect all four clips we've done here. And I'm going to go to the LUTs tab. I'm going to grab one of these LUTs. Sure. Alright, so obviously that did way, way too much. It's awful. But if I just go down here to this little tab, this is the node key, I can tell, I can say I only want this node to do 20%. So now this node's only working at 20% value. It's just a little extra contrast. It does some uh, nice tinting to the greens and stuff, especially. So now all of our clips have this on there and they all have like a some new vibe. So yeah, there you go. Some quick analog grading with just two main nodes and a couple bonus. Hope that helps you out. All right, well, if you hung in that long, good for you. I know it's a long video. Uh, hopefully the other ones will be a little shorter now that we got some of those basics out of the way. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Um, I spent a lot of time in DaVinci Resolve and I'm sure there are things I glanced over and didn't think to share. So uh, yeah, just feel free to ask some questions and stay in touch.